Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Darksiders the War Mastered Edition. We're inside the city hall, I think it is. Yeah, down the stairs where we came out from the first area. We're here for one thing the shards that we can collect. Since we have Shadow Flight, over here there's a little ramp that we can walk upon. So if we position ourselves right, use Shadow Flight. We can get to this side, and voila! Soldier's artifact gained. Over there, we need an abyssal chain, and that's a, an item we will get to fight Silatha. So, getting it, we will not. But we can see there's a wrath shard, a wrath shard upon the ledge. So we will come for that later. We're back in Scalding Gallo. There it is. And bump over there. Let's unlock that spot. Oh, look at that. We have a chest. Oh, what might that chest contain? An abyssal piece, abyssal armor piece, that makes three of them. We're going up in the pieces. Don't dare. Okay. With that all said and done, I think we're going to go to our next destination. And you, bye bye as well. Oh, hello, guys. Okay, let's get. Okay, let's do this again. There we go. Ah, the next area is in our grasp. Over here there's another item that we can get. Like you see we need a void walk for it, but we will get that also kind of end game-ish. Oh, there we go, we have the blue variant of those exploding dudes. Which I like much better. And he takes a little bit more hits to kill. Oh, and. One down, and a two down! And a three down! Oh no, there's one more down! The reinforcements come! And they fail! You got cut in half, and you die the same fate, in the same fate, in the same way. Mean of what fate? We let's see then. Somewhere down here, there is a way to get down. But we will have to go there later. Oh, over here. There will be an, uh, what's it called? An air current. 
that you can make it to that ledge over there. But we will go there later because we need to have that special item called the Void Walk for it. Because there are two items, and I think the and soldier? No, not the soldier. Um, what is? What are those called? Real quick. The champion artifact, and there's a piece of, uh, I think, a wrath shard that I could that we could get over there. This is, where, this is where we came from. Let's see. I can see you walking over there. Don't hide from me. Come on! You want to have some reinforcements? So use them. I think... Any second there should be a blue guy spawning. I, I, I ran past him. I hear there's the blue guy. Oh no, you don't. I don't know what the hell happened, I faced through him. Cut. No, no. Oh, you didn't even explode. Oh, I feel sorry for you. And we're here, the drowned pass. Yeah, we already have another one of those guys. Ah, so many things to do over here. So many things. Let's get Fulgrim. So we have this this area unlocked. Oh, look at that! Some damage with my crossblade! Oh, look at him! Trying to uppercut me! No, you don't! Phil, where I see you? I think down here, I think over there, there should be um, one of the challenges that will await us. Over there, there's an Armageddon piece that we will get later. Over there, there's a life stone shard, but we need the abyssal chain for it. For this one, we need a tremor gauntlet. And here we have Fulgrim. Fulgrim. Jesus Christ! Great. Old yeah, great. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. Oh, the possession! Instantly increase war's chaos level to maximum. Yep. If you use this, you can directly and keep on using chaos form. That's if you like to use chaos form. You. From what I've seen, chaos, run uh, chaos runners, speedrunners. Used that uh, variant 
pretty much. Since oh, it is powerful. Do I, for some reason, never come to use it myself? Mm. And again, bosses mm. have that three-way pattern. That is just easier to fight without Please Chaos Form, to be honest. Time. There's hordes of enemies that you will have to face later. It's easier with the Chaos Form. You are as wise as you are Let's powerful. get this. Level 1 in everything. Farewell. Over there we will get the gate. In here, let's see. There are some more things that, that are hidden. Oh, look at that! We have an upgraded enemy variant. Oh, are you stuck? <laughs> you are stuck. <laughs> oh, let me help you. I can even... I can even use my instant kill on you. Give me back my health. Tadin tadin. War. Let's see. Jesus, God, bloody... No, get away. I thought there were footsteps. There are some stuff on the, in the water as, as well, and some secret areas as well, over there. Wait, I think there's an... I, th I think I've said it three times, maybe four times? I don't know all the places Mr. K will invade you. But yeah, over in this spot he will as well. So, yep. Like always, you can try to fight him. I could do that, seeing how easy it has been since of late to defeat things that I previously thought were difficult. But, nah. I will wait. Like I said. I will show you all the locations at the once. Wait. Jesus fucking Christ, I I knew there's footsteps. Oh wait. That's how I changed my things again. Jesus Christ. automatically will attack us when we try to pass, but you already stood up. We already could find where these shadow lurkers hide and kill them all. It can't be that hard to find. No, not when when their arenas are glowing into the night sky. Oh no, those are the arenas. Over there we have one, over there, and over there. Those are just locating where they, they are. Yeah, also in this in this tunnel. There's an area that we have to fight. Action? Oh, 
this be an X. Same as before, just four challenges that we have to complete. But this time I don't know the challenges and what they hold. So, <coughs> to be a little bit more prepared, I will save because there's one challenge. And that is defending. You need to defend with six skeletons and you need to skip three remaining skeletons alive to get one of the consumables. This is count kill. Bl press block to... F. Yeah. Kill five en enemies using block and projectile counter attacks within the time limit. Bonus also will be, re will be rewarded for any time left on the clock. Nope. Nope. I have to get the timing on this. Okay. Oh crap! <laughs> nope. Come on. Come on, in front of me. There we go. Nope. Wait. It was that's bullshit. I. Oh come. Oh fucking hell. Oh come on. Wait, because I press B, I fail? Get out of the way, you ins... There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. Jesus Christ. I don't block parry this game. That's not even how war fights. For a war's aggressive. Not uh, going for the, mm, for the parry skills. At least I can get almost all my health back. Three more challenges, le challenges left. Let's get this chest as well. We need to get up there. There's a staircase, of course. What challenge is this one? Like always, I don't know which challenge this is for this moment. So, I am going to save. Because I need to know that I have the right challenge. The Wrath of War. Kill 30 enemies using the destructive power of, the, of War's Chaos form within the time limit. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any time left on the clock. 
Okay. This one is a little bit easier, so 30, 30 enemies in Chaos form. And generating war with just killing them. Ten kills already. Wait, where the fuck is that dude that Okay. Come on. Oh, I can already use war war kills for Come here, you, you cunt. The one downside of Chaos Form is that it is slow as fuck. Already I don't even have... Wait, what? Oh no, no. No, 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 no! Get my wrath form! You! Go die! Ready? Jesus Christ. I have only two kills. Two bloody kills. No, 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 no. Get... Oh, wait, I can already use it. Come on, guys, come closer. There we go, I don't want to get... Come on. War, war, ref, ref, ref. Die. There we go. Could have done better myself, but that was the best that I can do for now. Now that was entertaining. Can we do it again? Please, no. That's the one thing that why I don't like Chaos Form as much. It is overpowered, but it's slow. As war, I have at least the mobility to, to, to dash. But I don't have that with Chaos Form. It's, it, it, it has its downsides. It has, it's overpowered, but you're slow. You're, you, you cannot be mobile enough. And I'm a person that likes to have at least a little bit of mobility, even as a tanky kind of character. Mobility is everything that I need, even if it's a little bit. Alright, let's get to the other ones. Only down to that I hate and that I didn't find for, for this challenge. Wait, where the fuck am I? This is not where I need to go. Not at all. 
is that I need to use my chaos form, which I actually don't want to do. So yeah, I now have to recharge my own chaos form before I actually can use it again. Okay, we've those two left. Clearly, should have done those two first because. This one over here is the closest, then comes the one on that building. Now I have to walk all the way around, and I don't have ruin yet. Only after I go to the, the, to the Stygian, in the Ashlands, I can actually get ruin. It might be this one, I'm not 100% sure that it is the one. So. Let's see if this is the one that we have to help some skeletons out. Because if it is, then... I suggest save it and keep trying until you have at least three... skeletons alive at the end. Defender, yes. Keep at least one undead soldier alive throughout the time limit. Bonus souls will be, will be rewarded for each undead soldier that survives. Actually, wanna see how far is. Okay, uh. Kill Seeders getting nicely to level 3. I think I'm going to use Kill Seeder until it's fully leveled. You can neglect Kill Seeder, though it is your main weapon. You can get Armageddon at the end game, and it's actually in Kill Seeder upgraded to plus 4 directly. So you can neglect Kill Seeder in its entirety and only level up. The scythe and the tremor gauntlet, which is an item we will get in the griever area to maximum, and then get the Armageddon blade and get the achievement to maximize or fully upgrade all the three weapons you get. But I just want to get Chaos Eater since it is my main weapon of attack. I use my scythe, like I said, pretty often, more than a tremor gauntlet. But yeah, Scythe is much better for me than the, the Tremor Gauntlet. Though the Tremor Gauntlet has its uses. And I will show you when I get it. Get, get the, the Gauntlet. Because I know something real fun that I do with it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Chaos Form. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I am not going. Come on. Guys, we can do this. Nope, 
Okay, uh, we're halfway done, I think. I could use instant kill, but if I do that, then I will neglect my skeletons. Okay, we have one of those dudes. Come on. Nope, I need... There we go. You, I really go to use the quick kill because I need it for you. Nope. You are all going down. There we go, Chaos Form. Come on. Oh no, we did, we lost one. Two, one. There we go. Done. Five out of six. I was pretty close to get six out of six. I always knew you had it in you. How do I need to get all six of them alive? Keep six of them alive. But the wiki said you need to at least keep three of the six alive. I and I got five. I didn't get the consumables, so I don't know how this will work. It could have been misleading thing. But I will find out later. I will keep the safe all around. And then when next episode arrives, I will maybe sh I will maybe no, I will show you getting me getting the the, the the consumable, the empty vessel. Once I find out what the hell I need to do, and maybe it's just that I have to keep all six of them alive, which would be actually kind of an impossible task. Even I couldn't do it, and I am, I, I kept five of them alive. There's one died at the very, very end. I think this one is in the cave. Yes, we need to jump in the water and then dive towards it. We. No dive. There we go. Is 
It seems all the slaughter fish has have, have disappeared. Okay, let's challenge awaits us. Yeah, not on this one, but on this one. What is this challenge going to do? A world of pain. Kill 15 enemies using environmental weapon attacks. Okay, so... I summon Dime, I summon Dime Car into this world. Come on. Come on. Do more keep spawning? Yep. Even more cars? Oh crap. God damn it. Only one of them. Come on. Only five. Oh, not you guys. Get out of my life! Get the hell away from me! Shit, been poisoned. No, please, no. There we go. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. After you complete all the challenges, you get Enrage Shard. If you have at least three of them alive. So, that makes all of them. Let's open a gate. Where the fuck was the exit again? Looks like that was the last of them. Let's get out of here. And actually, I can test for this to be sure after this has happened. Just doing the same thing, but then let every scout and die at the last few seconds. And not helping at all. Or keeping three alive, for example. And then waiting until the ending to let one more die. To see if I can get still the, the good thing. There's a scythe equipped in, in that menu.
Bye. An abyssal armor piece. All right, there we go. That makes four. We're almost halfway done with it. And die. Oh, six thousand souls. Hmm. I don't know what would be the best thing to do at this moment. I could go back to Fulgrim. But I also could go into the next area. I don't know. Are the abilities that I have this very moment enough to do everything I need to do? And that's the question. Because the, the moves that I have, I can still buy a few of them near Fulgrim. But I don't know. But I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Because I think there's, I think, a mini boss, I would call it. And an angel chase sequence coming up pretty soon. Actually, too many bosses if I think about it. Damn! So, hope you enjoyed like always. And don't forget to get your game on. Till next time.